what's happening um got this crazy kind of skyline right here literally there's a big long line in the sky yeah a little oh there's a camera right there yeah I should have bust oh look at this what we got is that a vulture or is that a freaking hawk of some sort Damn, if I'd only had my thing out, dude. Mullion right there. If I only had my, uh, freaking camera attachment. But that wasn't what I needed for this, really, right now. To catch this effect here, this line across the sky, this kind of like shelf. I was hoping up here, maybe there will be, uh, an opening and it'll give me a better view of the whole thing. No, actually once I get to the once I get to the hill. Was that freaking how I thought it was? No. Thought I saw some some slag. It's not. Yeah, but this uh it was cold out this morning. I got freaking, it's pretty warm. Might almost be over freaking dressed. But, got my freaking rubbers on. In case I want to go swamping. And there's plenty of swampages around. Oh, freaking, was that cold? Something. It was heavy as frick. Yeah, looks like uh looks like I chose the right time to strike. As soon as I got on the road, I could see this line going across the sky. I'm like, oh, there it goes. That's the Kentrail Weatherman, Kentrail Weatherman bat symbol, so to speak. Batman signal. My intuition's pretty good about this type of stuff because look, I've been sky watching for 10 years. And you gotta learn to use your intuition. Sometimes you just gotta grab your gear and go. But at the same time, I know I, I can't catch it all. And ain't really gotta worry because freaking look. If I don't catch it, there'll, there'll be plenty more coming. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, once I get over this next, my next freaking stop, I'm busting out the freaking attachment for so put show. I'm gonna put it through some more tests in the gear. Hutch ho, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, these camera trail guys never fail to disappoint, man. They're just freaking always, always, uh, you know, leaving their sludge everywhere they go. Oh, there's some fresh, fresh mullion right there, dude. That's a. That's probably a year old. That might be a two year old. Uh, couple more. Put those in my pocket. Just in case I need to take a dump out in the woods. Got something to wipe with. Yeah, one of the uh the medicinal uh benefits also of Mullion. Literally, they fucking make your hemorrhoids go away. So, you know, nature's got an answer, man, for most of the problems we got, man. There's little freaking solutions and treatments. Just right here. I mean, I don't know, though. These 
I don't know if these would be good to make tea out of because they're so close to this freaking train. Who knows if chemicals spill out of that. There could be a lot of environmental contamination along these tracks. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I don't have a... See down in there all that wet? That wet, wet? I'm going to go over there and check my wet, wet spot. Because it was pretty frozen solid yesterday. So, ooh. There might be a possibility. Yeah, that's a vulture. Might be a possibility. Uh, I've only seen them things perched up once. Uh, there's a possibility that, that maybe it's walkable still. Uh, which I kind of was digging that. Yeah, look at that freaking line. Oh, there's another one right there. He's back there laying down. There's one, there's one. Yeah, up here it's gonna, oh, bird friends. They're telling on me right now. Like, hey, hey, there's a dude over there walking. That's what they're saying in crow language. There goes a man. He's dressed in camouflage. It's probably a good idea if we move along. That's what they were saying in bird language. See, that little bird right there, he's like, yeah, you got it. He's saying it is true. Dang, dude. Ooh. I mean, so here's the good question. It's like, did they actually create this kind of wall right here? with using these techniques they're using right now. These long linear lines. Yeah, this is the area of frick where it sounded like I heard somebody singing in Latin. Where the band she was at it was like up in there. I think that's just a lot. I don't know. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of sweat kicking out. Feel my inside shirt's a little wet. It's good though. It's good to keep that. It's good to sweat. It's healthy to sweat a little bit. I bet you there's you you might catch some swamp gas emissions around here. Maybe that was just a swamp gas deposit, man, whistling, you know. Or maybe it's a natural ley line vortex. Ooh, what's this? That dude did a lot of flapping. If it does a lot of flapping a lot of times, that means it's a, it's actually a hawk. But I could be wrong on that. That could be another vulture. This hurts all before. Heard some kind of movement down there. Probably like a chipmunk or a fucking mouse or something. Yeah, see, he's flapping a lot. That'd be dope if it was that golden eagle again. Oh, no, that probably is a vulture.
Fried shit. Yeah, I found that deer kill up here. The deer kill site. I mean, from what I, from my research, supposedly coyotes. There's more mullions. Uh Coyotes are more rodent eater than they are actually um, big game predator. It's freaking, so it's kind of surprising to see them suck as got a deer. Actually, though, thinking about it, the size of them feet. It was a small deer. Because that's all that was left was it was uh, freaking its feet, its hooves, a couple hooves, and a bunch of hair. Big freaking bunch of hair. I mean, but I'm sure, look, uh, got a couple ducks. Oh, look at this guy. Wow, that's across the whole sky. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm, I'm prime time, buddy. It's lighting up right now with air traffic. I mean, it's lit up. They're putting the wax job on. It's like, what? The wax on, wax off, not the good kind. Hey, buddies. Yeah, all these animals out here also, that's a good sign that, like, listen, I'm literally tapping into some kind of energy field that's going on in the environment. Because all the animals are showing me that. Like, look, they're all out here too. So that means you're in the right place. That's where the cheese at. I mean, as much, you know, wildlife I've just seen just in this little time frame you know just guesstimating I'm sure I'm gonna see more Freaking bone ah, dude, they are freaking see how they're all funneling it bottlenecking it right there oh yeah oh look at that little birds little bird oh, that's a hawk I can tell by just by the color and that little birds attacking it you don't see those little birds attacking oh look a couple more coming through this birds freaking harassing it nice it just dove at it look at all these dogs yeah dude yeah Nature's putting on a show for me right now, that's for sure. Ooh. Wow. And that guy is on his it's on them anyway i gotta cut off buddies much love god bless safe travels till next time